the smallest bison skull I have ever found. I found a couple of juveniles. That one is really small. Not much left of it. Pretty neat though. Sorry, the wind is probably bad. I'm going to try to block it with my body. Well, here's my first one for today. About two hours into the hunt. Not a super killer, but it does actually look pretty nice. And I discovered a large gravel bar today. I don't think I've ever hunted this one before either. And it's big. It'll probably take me three days to hunt it. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. Skunk, I can tell you that much. I got about, oh, maybe four hours left. Let's see what I can do today. <laughs> Here I am saying, holy cow, once again. But seriously, I don't get real excited over bison skulls anymore. I found so many of them. But I believe this is a bison antiquus. Oh my goodness, look at the spread on those horns. Uh, bison, bison typically are about... I don't know, 21, 22 inches wide, maybe 24 at the very largest. Look at the spread on those horns. That's probably 30 inches. Holy moly. That's an actual Pleistocene bison right there. Man, that's killer. Those horns look like they might be intact too. I was thinking, I, I'd never hunted this bar before, and it's this big, chunky gravel. And I was thinking for sure I'm going to get a mammoth tooth or something off this bar. It's They're always in this big, chunky stuff. But uh, if no mammoth tooth, I'll definitely take this. That is freaking awesome. I'm going to dig it out. I'll uh, let you get a better look at it. Here's my first chance at a really good one today. While you're walking along and see something like that, that'll get your attention. I was hoping for a Clovis, but I'll take it. Actually, not too bad. Pretty material, too. Pretty cool. There is something poking out here. Let's see what it is. Ooh, please let that other part. Just too nice of a notch to have both of them. Dang it, man. That would have been so good. Oh well. Here's a better look at that skull I found earlier. Man, it's pretty good size. That's by far the biggest spread I've found on bison between the horn tips. That's about a foot. That's about a foot. Another maybe eight inches in between, so... <clears throat> 32 inches maybe. Put a tape on to see what it actually measures, but I think the biggest one I ever found before was 22 inches in between the horns, so I'm guessing this must be a different species. I don't know if it's Occidentalis or Antiquus, but uh, I know a guy that I can ask. Either way, that's a pretty awesome skull cap. I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty awesome. 